the lava lake has been dropping significantly. It's dropped more than 600 feet. We are seeing that the walls are exposed of Halima'uma crater. So what's happening is the rocks are falling into the lava lake and we're seeing some explosions. This morning at about 8.30 a.m. we did see a huge plume over Halima'uma. It's pretty scary for people when they see something like that and they start to get on edge. But really what's of most concern is if this lava lake drops below the water table. If it drops below Below the water table, groundwater could seep into that empty conduit below and make contact with the magma. If that happens, we could see explosions powered by that steam. Now, we don't know for sure if that will happen, how big it would be if it did, for how long that could last, but it has happened before. In 1924, we had a similar event, and so we know that it could happen. Well, right now, there is a mandatory evacuation for um, the immediate area where the sulfur dioxide is very concentrated. Now on a daily basis we deal with sulfur dioxide. It's what we call VOG or volcanic smog. That VOG usually because we have trade winds most of the year gets pushed out to sea. On the Kona side of the Big Island that's where we tend to see most of the, vo the VOG because our mountains block the trade winds, the land heats up, that hot air rises and so the cool air from out to out at sea ends up coming in to replace it. It brings in some of that VOG, but it is diluted. So we deal with some health issues on a daily basis. Now the concentrations and the levels of the SO2 in the area of those 14 fissures is so high that it is extremely toxic. So basically what they're doing is just telling people to number one, stay out of the area. Number two, watch your weather forecast to make sure you know where the winds are going, what the winds are doing. And in fact, um, later on this week, starting tomorrow or Friday, we could see our winds weakening and that could bring some of this toxic air up to the other islands. So we're keeping a definite eye on this and you know, just trying to inform people the best we can. But I wanted to bring up, actually yesterday, I think we broke it on your news that that new fissure happened when I got um, a text in. I just got a text in that there could be a new eruption east of Pohoiki Road and Leilani Boulevard intersection. If this is confirmed, this would be the 15th fissure. Thanks for having me.